when we first started the night program, our hours were 8 p.m. to 6 a.m. And a lot of hospitals, uh, you know, a, a doctor, an ER physician will see a patient and want them to be admitted and uh, they'll actually uh, not physically come in, they'll pick up a phone and give some holding orders until they can see the patient uh, sometime later, which may be many, many hours later. Uh, with us, we're, with, within an hour or two, we're, we're generally available and seeing the patients. So I, I think that's a huge advantage. When you had the discomfort, did you have any other symptoms with it, like nausea or sweating or shortness yes, of breath? I had all that. Okay. That was the third one. Third one. Really? The night responsibility is a little bit different than the day responsibility because of the, the doctors during the day uh, um, will manage a patient throughout a hospital stay, whereas uh, we only interact with the patients uh, on initial contact, like in the emergency room, or if there's an, a new condition that develops on the floor. So they, they provide more continuity of care uh, for the patient throughout the hospitalization. And, and we provide more uh, urgent or emergent care. The traditional practice uh, back before this became more popular, uh, a physician would be on call and he would work all day and then work the night and then work the next day. And I think uh, it was very difficult for the physician to stay engaged and uh, uh, provide optimal care being fatigued. And by, and by having us here, uh, we in, uh, enabled those physicians uh, to uh, be available for the patients be fresh for the patients and provide them the best care they could for the patients. So. We have an EKG on 15? Uh, yes, sir. I know that we didn't have one. I'll find it for you. Okay. In a place where you don't have a night doctor available, they have to call the answering service, have to contact the physician. The physician has to call back to answer the question. It may be two or three in the morning. They may be groggy, sleepy. Uh, it may be hard for them to concentrate, understand what truly the nature of what's going on. So I think it just provides the staff, the, the nurses, uh, a lot of security knowing that there's a doctor that they can contact that will help them uh, and not have to worry about you know, trying to hunt someone down to pro help provide care. The emergency room doctor, Dr. Rowal, asked me to come see you. He was saying you're having some chest discomfort? Yes, I'm having my chest, kind of like pressure and pain and I know it's coming on here. The difficulty is, is that not everybody likes working at night. You have to provide incentives for these doctors to want to work at night, uh, and uh, the, the programs are learning how to create incentives, which will which will encourage uh, people to want to do it. So. To me, it was a blessing uh, because it, it enabled me to uh, truly uh, help uh, mentor uh, my children, uh, to to spend time with them, to let them feel that that they are important in my life, and particularly as my spouse as well. Um, you know, any, t any important dates or time, uh, for the most part, my partner and I, we were able to uh, provide each other flexibility uh, and uh, be available during those times when you were needed.